You're still watching Good Morning Nigeria, and uh, it's now time for our newspaper review. Uh, the table is set for newspaper review and uh, Chukudu Koli Obaja looking bright and uh, young. Looks young, he's not young. Always uh, he's bright here. and young, <laughs> whatever <laughs> you say. <laughs> Victor, morning. how are you? Good morning. Uh, I'm morning. all right. Jumai. You know, Chukudu doesn't look his age at all. Mm. You know, he looks love 10 your, years younger. Love your neighbor Because you know Kariwala, you know Kariwala put for your head. Now. Love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> Don't behave as if you have all the troubles in the world. The others have more troubles than you. Everything is attitude towards the environment. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll learn. Always be happy. So let's begin uh, with the Nigerian pilot. And it leads with uh, the major headline. 5.9 trillion naira, 4.6 billion dollar loans, 36 governors sued. Four riders after it, they are sued for alleged failure to account for 5.9 trillion naira, 4.6 billion dollar loans. Serap asks courts to compel them to publish copies of loan agreements, sites of projects. That court should also compel them to invite EFCC. ICPC to investigate spending of such loans, says it's in public interest for courts to grant reliefs sought on the matter. That story can be found on page four. And uh, just above that story, you have uh, democracy can't survive without free press. That is according to information minister. And you can find it on page six. And at the bottom of uh, the Nigerian pilot front page, 39-year-old man confesses killing five persons, including cousin. You can get that on page five. We have moved on with governance in spite of political pressure. That's according to Governor Fubara. Edo government orders illegal miners to vacate Egbetua community in seven days. Police arrest seven cultists, declare Kingpin Makwo wanted. NAF airstrike neutralizes terrorists in Mandara Fountains, Shiroro. And the FCC disowns circulating list of ex-governors being probed for corruption. That one you can find it on page seven. Let's take you now to the Vanguard, which leads uh, with... Uh, this picture story, a major headline, local firms, IOCs, to bid for 12 onshore, 7 deep onshore oil blocks. And it has a rider as FG Woo's investors at OTC 2024. You can find that story on page 4. Why FDIs continue to elude Nigeria, that's according to former Vice President Atiku, and you can find that story on page 9. It's just above the nameplate of the Guardian. And close to it, you have that uh, Monday interview. They call it, How Nigerians Can Identify Fake Electricity Meters by Tahir Aliu, NEMSA MD. And then, just one more at the bottom of uh, the front page of the Vanguard. Minister waits in as condemnation trails FIJ journalists' arrest. That's on page 25. And just before I go from the Guardian here, Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. says, so she sued her husband for cheating. Last time, she sued him for emotional abuse. What's that her name again? And Mr. says, Sue. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was a good one today. Beautiful morning. <laughs> Let's quickly go to the East Nigeria. And uh, by the side piece of the nameplate, we have banks, loans to pri bank loans to private sector dropped by 10 trillion naira in March. That's coming from the CBN. You find the details on page 20. Experts decry payment of local school fees in dollars. 
with kickers says it's affecting economy urge finance minister to act fast you want to know which cause you find the details on page two insecurity military airstrikes demobilizes seven gun trucks kill terrorists in niger niger and borno you find the details all on page seven at the side piece of the picture story smart city Wiki upgrades airport road streetlight to intelligent LED. Order FCT roads to benefits. With riders, head of service commends minister for massive infrastructural development. Find the details on page 6. Mega City, Yusuf lays foundation of 15 billion naira interchange bridge in Kano. Details on page 5. And the picture story you see there. The president of the Senate got with Akwabio and Senate Deputy Whip Oyokachi Nwabonyi at the Thanksgiving reception of the NDDC representatives in Oyo yesterday. That's about what I have in this Nigeria. Chukudi. You've had enough, <laughs> so that I have time to talk. <laughs> Fake electricity meters. Mm. And I ask, are they already here? If they I are. I think they are. If they are, hmm. it's one of two things. It's either somebody's manufacturing them in here, in which case you can't really hide the site of the manufacturer too much. Mm -hmm. That means that monitoring supervision is lacking somewhere. Mm -hmm. If it is imported, isn't there a process of verifying the quality, uh, the authenticity of what gets into our country? Standards organization. Of exactly. Nigeria. Whichever way you look at it, it means somebody needs to open their eyes mm. and maybe even ears more. Mm. Yeah. Because the unscrupulous uh, person would always look for ways to circumvent anything that checks their mm -hmm. nefarious activities, yeah. you know. But then so what makes them fake? That's uh, something to find out. Yes. What makes them fake? What do they do that makes them fake? Are you trying to authenticate fake things? No, what we're saying is... Somebody so that, says so they're that fake. We are, they must have... For instance, how do you know? How do you begin to suspect if something is fake? Very good. Actually, that's what the headline says. The man is saying how to identify fake mm -hmm. meters. Mm. So your question eventually has found a, you know, a mm. solid ground for self-assertion. That means the, self the, the, meters, the meters are already installed in exactly. some places already. So there must be a, a collaboration between the manufacturers and somebody, some people within the, the power sector. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's not... We're, ju we're, very, we're very good journalists. Yeah. We don't <laughs> speculate. Mm. Let's say that the meter comes... Mm. When it gets to the time to install them, you go to the store, you say, hey, this meter is fake. So we're How not going to say to that store? it got to the customer. That was when we, no. How did it get uh, to the it, store? They may, uh, that's it. That's because how did it get to the store? Because the, the, the discos It takes us provide, back to what? The discos, I guess, provide the meters. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe. And the, install them too. There could be complicity just, somewhere. Just, just didn't, uh, but because we're good journalists, we always try to work on facts. Yes, one Facts of the reports, are sacred. Yeah, Protect of, them anytime yeah, you can find them. One of them. the reports he wrote, he read, somebody confessed into killing four, five people, including. Mm. I was coming to that. that serial killers. We do have serial killers. I was, in this ca I was coming to that. You know, we keep on repeating here. I have a case at home, so I, 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 I should know what I'm talking about. Uh, you mentioned uh, a relative that also has a uh, mental health issues. Yes, yes. You know, Africans, Nigerians, many Nigerians should stop thinking that it's only when a man or woman pulls off their apparel, uh, gets in the marketplace and starts displaying their genitals that they are They're called mad. mad people. It ranges from being a crank to being raving mad. Have we been observant concerning this man's, uh, 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 th this person who killed five, including mm. their cousin? Have we been observant concerning their behavioral traits? Because it, it couldn't ju have just happened. Indeed. People could snap sometimes, but that's rare. But, but then if he was showing uncontrollable attack. anger, that was a, a mental health issue. He needed help. Well, from, from, from the CIS movies I watch, I'm a, I'm a fan of watching criminal, you know, you know investigations. That's why you know that. so many things. Yes, and, <laughs> I, and, I, and I find out that they are cool killers. 
You don't even know they are killers. Yeah, there could be cool killers. Cool killers. Yes. You know, calculated. Okay. I read about one that w I, I, it was a movie I think that that, that went th that he was killing pizza delivery guys. They're very good. And then and then uh, making uh, you know uh, what they call it barbecues. There are and some neighbors will come and eat. They didn't know. There are some, it was, it was there are some people, mm. uh, acting gets into everything. So yes. some people who are mentally de depraved or deranged rather, uh, could become good actors and they conceal yeah, they that conceal. which you want to know so that you keep a safe distance from them. Yeah. But sometimes people will tell you, that man is too quiet for mm. my liking. Uh, do you get what I'm trying to say yeah. now? So cool killers are there, are but you need more observant eyes to even suspect. Mm. Put out the word. Call the, 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 the relevant authorities. Can you please track this man? Mm. There's something about him, you know, that needs to be examined. So we need to become more vigilant. Indeed. And uh, there's a problem in, in Nigeria and, some, uh, and African countries. When it is a relative that is showing not too mm. uh, pleasant psychological mm. tendencies, you don't want the person to be called mad or the person, I the person get problem. You don't want to. You keep on hiding mm. them and hiding them and hiding them. In the case I mentioned concerning my own person, I've become a much more observant person about that person. Mm. Because part of our problem is that when she wants to urinate, she doesn't tell you. She begins to pull off her. Mm. And I would say, hey, she wants to urinate. Mm. You begin to know how to interpret them, preempt yes. them and all yeah. that. They can't talk. They can't understand anything. That's a mental health issue. Yeah. So mental health needs to be taken more seriously in this climb. Very mm. important. Mm. You know, why UK stops students from bringing families? Uh, that's the British ambassador to Nigeria talking there. He says that in three years, those dependents, that uh, people who pursue further academic um, laurels uh, bring into the UK, jump from 15,000 or is it 17,000 to mm -hmm. 54,000. I think it's another form of jackpot. Jackpot. So course. they're now <laughs> saying that <laughs> only <laughs> those you know that. who are pursuing uh, PhD programs, which is going to need sustained time for yes. it to play out, are allowed to bring independence, not people pursuing first degree or, or masters. Anything masters, you yeah. know. And they, it reduces the number. They are trying to self-preserve because even though we say that those populations are aging, Europe actually has aging population, China does. So Africans are helping people from other countries, Mexico, they are helping them to keep their economy going. But the point is this, if, the, if they don't check the influx, very soon they start bursting at the seams. You understand? So, well, in a place like UK, you know that you know UK. Yeah, the yes. way she said it, yes. she <laughs> has <laughs> desires to Jackpot. Make sure she doesn't. We need her. On you know, where, 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 where? You know, I'll you you, you stay with neighbors for years without you know saying hello and all that. I think the reason why some go with their some a wife or maybe a child is because you need companionship. You know, the it's 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 not safe for you to just stay alone. You know, you come back home, yeah. you enter your house. You know, I no. think you know it's not like Nigeria. Where you just buy, you know, put uh, buy your data mm -hmm. and what is it for DSTV, watch movies, everything, that, even television, you have to pay. That's the British code. You have to pay for the license. That's you know, British you just coldness. don't go buy a television and put it in your house. That's the British code. Then you get the service. Yes. The British coldness, which does not augur well for the community uh, yes, as a whole, yes. that leads to somebody dying for five days. For nobody five knows. Yes. You yes. South Africans are noisemakers. They are too. You know, oh. they, they, they want to pry into your mm. life and all that. But it does have its benefits. Hey, where well, Mama Kira never says it's two days old. You know, Africa <laughs> yes, does have benefits. Does, yes. We just need to do a few things you know, about you know, our attitudes. And we are going to I've grow not been to the better UK, than... I've been to the UK, actually. I hope you visit the UK someday. I, I was only there for know, three I, days I, to I, save I, my I learned a lot visa. about the UK from James Hadley Chase, oh. from Reader's Digest, which I found out that they are shutting You've down. You've been reading as well. Yes, Reader's Digest. Yes, it's reader. shutting down. It's it, no, I can't imagine. I gr practically grew up just, you know. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, really. Uh, I've been to Britain, uh, London, yes. but it was just for three days. I didn't want my visa to expire, you so know, you without using it at all. And just before we let you go, in a minute, um, yes. employers labour angry over unending fuel scarcity. Oh, I don't know whether that adjective is justified at the moment because fuel is everywhere now. But this was taken probably on Saturday yes, night. Over the weekend. Yeah, so, 
is easing up now. And then we want to commend them. There's a filling station at CBN Junction, Carol. Let's not advertise. They never one day stopped selling fuel for one minute. And it was never more than 680. It's, it's just the queue that is the it's problem. It's the queue. Actually, they block the road and you're forced to do one way sometimes so that um, yeah, newspaper review does not end. I hope I'm not reporting myself. You are. You are. And on that note, bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks Let's for coming to me. I deserve to be kicked out today. <laughs> exactly. I confess. Go, go, <laughs> and report, go and report yourself <laughs> at uh, the nearest <laughs> yes, station. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see you shortly for the discussion to begin.